gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life, how to live your life. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. I'm Cami. Today's video is going to be my 12 a week updates. Um, today I'm currently 12 weeks and 5 days and I just had my 12 week appointment. So I'm going to wait to do these kinds of videos until after I have a, an appointment just so I have like more things to talk about. Um, so yeah, I got my blood work taken today. I still have these guys on. Go, go ahead and take them off. Um, I'm a hard stick, apparently. I know with Parker, they always had trouble getting it, and I know a couple of times they had to do it in my hand, which is what had to happen today. So, that was fun. Um, but I did go ahead and do the blood test, which I didn't get done with Parker. My OB just never offered it to me. Um, so I don't know, but it's, it's the thing to test for any abnormal abnormalities. And then also it will tell you the gender of your child. So we should know if we're having a boy or girl in the next like two weeks. So I'm very excited for that. I'm like super pumped for that. Um, just cause I didn't get that chance with Parker. I had to wait until my 20 week ultrasound. You will probably be able to hear him. He is singing blippy, <laughs> but yeah. So I went to the doctor today. I didn't get an ultrasound or anything. They didn't do that, which I was kind of bummed about because I wanted an ultrasound just to see how baby was doing. But I did get to hear the heartbeat and the heartbeat was, I think she said 154, which she said it was good. And that baby was moving around. Um, so that's good. And that's pretty much the only thing that really happened is they took my blood work and I got to hear baby. I did with Parker. I had uh, blood pressure issues and this time so far they haven't put me on any medication she just told me to take aspirin baby aspirin so that is what I'm doing and I know it started up at like 140 today and then was lowered back down to like 130 while I was there um, so so far not going on any medication yet she didn't seem too concerned with that because it did go down but again that's still something that's in my head it makes me nervous um, just because it makes you know, the pregnancy more difficult when you have high blood pressure. But yeah, I don't have another appointment for another four weeks, but I'm gonna go ahead and talk about my symptoms. So from the eight week point to now the 12 weeks and five days, my nausea has gone down as of the, like the last two weeks. Before I was getting morning sickness, morning, afternoon and night. And now it's just morning, like when I wake up, and then sometimes at night. Not all the time, not every single day. So that's definitely an improvement. Still not like puking. I've just been nauseated, and I've been doing those like preggy pop drops and all of that. He's just being a weirdo. But it's definitely gone down, which is a huge like relief for me. Um, along with that, I'm still tired, obviously, and being a mom in general to a toddler it makes you tired, but being pregnant also makes you tired um again my boobs are still sore same as in the eight weeks i did go ahead and write down i think two things that i didn't want to forget um let's see okay yeah so i have been thirsty like thirsty and i have excess like saliva um so i'll wake up and just be like like have all this icky stuff going on and then I drink throughout the day I've I'm trying to drink like at least one water because I know like water is good for you and you need to have water but then I also want other things and I noticed I'm getting headaches a lot especially if I do not have my one cup of coffee if I do not have my coffee I know for sure that I'm gonna get a headache later on um, so headaches have been a thing and then also dandruff it's kind of gone away now um, but between the 8 and the 12 week point, it actually probably before the 8 week point even, but I just was like, this is just weird. I just didn't think it was a pregnancy thing, but then I looked it up and I guess dandruff can pop in while you're pregnant. So I definitely have seen some dandruff, which is a little just weird because that's not something that I had with Parker. I'm trying to think if there is any other weird symptoms. Um, I don't really think there's, I've had anything else yet. Um, not really forget urination. I just, I pee a lot anyway, if I'm drinking a lot. So 
Yeah. Um, as far as cravings, the other week, if you did watch my grocery haul, you will know I bought a lot of fruit, and I'm not the type of person to eat fruit all the time. Like, I like fruit, but I don't always want fruit. But I bought a lot of fruit, and, like, fruit for that week sounded absolutely delicious. Like, it sounded like the best thing ever, and we ate it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it was good, and I think that's been my only, like, actual, like, craving. Um, as of right now, I cannot... Oh, uh, this is another thing. I hate brushing my teeth. This was not something I experienced with Parker. I just... The mint or the toothpaste, I absolutely hate it, and it... It makes me un like very unhappy to brush my teeth and then my husband's Listerine or whatever he uses for mouthwash he'll come and lay down and I immediately am like Ugh, because just the smell of it Ugh. <laughs> like Ugh. no not enjoyable no but I think that is pretty much all that I have been experiencing through the 12 week mark also, I just wanted to put something out there. I know I'm getting a lot of like messages telling me that I am too big. I made a TikTok about this. So if you don't follow me there, link, uh, it's, it's Cammie Ludman. But um, people have been like messaging me telling me that I am too big for 12 weeks. Um, if you don't know, if this is your first pregnancy, that's fine. I didn't show for quite a long time in my first pregnancy. But the more pregnancies you have, the faster your show because, you know, your, your body's already stretched out once and your uterus is just gonna, it didn't shrink back to its original size, so you'll show sooner. It's not a bad thing, but I feel like bump shaming can be a thing because with Parker, everybody kept telling me I was too small, too small, I'm like, wow, you're not showing yet, and like, that made me feel kind of bad, and now people are saying the opposite, which I'm glad I have a bump. It makes me happy to see my little bump, but also, like, sorry there's nothing I can do that I don't know all bumps are different all bodies are different if you have a big bump a small bump it doesn't matter like you're growing a human and I feel like people who are not pregnant should not comment on your bump size even people who are pregnant because everybody's different and that's just that <laughs> um so yeah and I'll just go into my little app so again I am using the what to expect app for tracking my print my pregnancy and right now it says a baby is as big as a lime and baby is between 2 and 2.5 inches and weighs about 5 ounces and it says I have 28 weeks to go um, so I did gain a couple pounds because I wasn't puking or anything like that so I did gain weight um, which she didn't say anything about so I guess that's not a big deal I can't remember if I gained I'm sure I did because I gained like 20 something pounds with Parker so yeah baby is the size of a lime and I think I feel like that's really all I guess I can show you guys the little the little this baby I'm really bummed I didn't get an ultrasound but I'm sure I'll get one next time so yeah, I guess I will go ahead and show you guys my bump and also include a little picture that I have taken um, in comparison from 8 to 12 weeks just so you guys get a better idea. And if you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and joining me on this journey with baby number two. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I like underwear grease. I could lie wide awake and leave my and I'll include the picture. Come this night and